Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel, Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to see a single step border molding technique. Here you can see I have my special train made and this is the primary cast of the patient. Now, as you know that the special tray should be 2 mm short of the sulcus so that we have enough space for the material, right? So as you can see, I'm checking whether we have at least 2 mm space available and then I'm going to check it in the patient's mouth. Now when you place the tray in the patient's mouth, make sure that when you're doing all these, you know, kind of movements of the cheeks, the tray should not fall by those forces. We should have space available in the sulcus of the patient so that the material has its space to flow there and record the peripheral borders. Also in the PPS area, I am checking the overextension in the posterior palatal seal area. So if you find a space available when the patient is asked to say ah, that means we need to trim the overextended tray. Now I am going to apply tray adhesive on the peripheral borders all around as well as on the PPS. I will be mixing a putty sea silicone here. Sorry for the glove size. I did not have any glove of my size that time. So once I'm done mixing it, I will make it like a thread and I will adapt it on the tray as you can see here all around the periphery including the PPS like so. Since we have less working time, I am working very quickly then I'm going to place it in the mouth of the patient like so and I'm going to make all the movements we make during the border molding, conventional border molding, right? Now once the material is set, I will remove the tray from the patient's mouth but before that let's check the retention as you can see here we have good amount of retention even at this stage like anterior retention and then even the posterior retention it will be even better when we take the wash impression obviously so let us remove it The material that has flown on the inner surface will be trimmed using a sharp blade. So here we have it. Then we are going to remove the spacer. You can heat the spacer a little bit to remove it. After removing it, we will take our light body material. We will mix them together and we will apply it on our tray. Then again I'm going to place it in the patient's mouth and I'm going to repeat all those movements we did earlier for in-depth video on what movements we make during border molding. Let me know in the comment section below, I can make a dedicated video explaining all the movements like how do you record the buccal frenum, buccal vestibule and all those details. You can get in touch with me on Instagram for more such clinical updates. Here you can see the anterior and the posterior retention. Once the material is set, I'm going to remove it from the patient's mouth. So this was a single step border molding technique. 
using C silicone. I hope you found the video helpful. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.